Yo, what's good, y'all? It's your boy. That's right, LT the Sage coming to you with another nightly ninja talk. And we are back. We are back pumping out the RPG MMO news. Um, so please hit that subscribe button if you like the content. Um, also, Monday, Wednesdays, and Friday nights, I will be live streaming here on YouTube exclusively. So come in tonight. We're gonna be doing Final Fantasy 14. I'm gonna be figuring out what job I'm gonna main an in walker so if you want to come see the gameplay if you want to come join me on doing some you know <laughs> some dungeons or whatever the case may be come on through stop by if you have any questions about any of the upcoming rbg mmos we talk about tonight but i'm going to go ahead and jump right into the info because i know that's why you guys are here for your nightly ninja talk so let's go ahead and jump right into it Okay, so the first thing we're going to be talking about is Kenna Bridge of Spirits. Now, Kenna Bridge of Spirits came out recently for the PlayStation 5, and um, critics have been a little bit, you know, kind of in the middle um, on this particular game. I think the expectations for a small indie developer were kind of high. Um, they kind of they went a little too far in their expectations, but this game came out as a $40 gem uh, for most of the personal users. If you look here, um, Metacritic score is 82. Um, and that's a uh, overall for the developers, you know, big wigs, IGN, di different um, writers and publishing uh, companies. But the user score is 9.2, 9.2 user score. And so so users are really enjoying Kena Bridge of Spirits. And if you like, to me, if you like action gameplay, like Ratchet and Clank style, adventure style type combat, um, then you'll love Kena Bridge of Spirits. Um, this is a $40 PS5 high graphical game that again looks stunning. And we're gonna go ahead and jump into gameplay video footage. You know, we always do that here on Nightly Ninja Talk, show you what to expect. Once the holiday, in my opinion, once the holiday season rolls through and more people get their hands on the PS5, the love for this game will grow for sure. Again, it's so it's so nice that it's $40 um, and it's really showing off the power that the PS5 has at its grasp. So make sure you pick up this game if you like adventure style gaming. Now, as far as here, I wanna make sure to let it known it is a very light RPG element to the game, okay? It's not a heavy RPG, all right? Not turn-based. It is action style, Kingdom Hearts, Ratchet and Clank style combat, um, and mostly ex exploration and adventure. Um, you're gonna be gathering chests, you're gonna be gathering gems, you're gonna be working with those little guys over there, the rot. That's what they're called. I don't know why, but that's what they're called. And so right now we're gonna go ahead and jump jump into some gameplay i'm gonna show you guys exactly what you're gonna be working with when you are playing kenna bridge of spirits yo okay y'all we're jumping into gameplay of kenna bridge of spirits bow and arrows as you can see and as you can see the gameplay style is very reminiscent reminiscent of ratchet and clank uh kind of your adventure scroller um god of war style uh, a little bit less intense as god of war but you can see there's a counter system involved um combo system uh, you do have a shield um and so a lot of those aspects that you like out of the tomb raider uh games um horizon zero dawn uh that it, it's really giving me Hor horizon zero dawn vibes and feels with the environment lush beautiful forests you can see the flowers here blooming right in front of our eyes and i love the different um those little guys on the ground are rot that's what they're called rots and you can utilize them to enhance your weapons enhance different combat skills and using your environment around you to defeat your enemies and as you can tell, if you can look, I know this isn't a pure, a pure um, look at it, but as you can see, the visuals are stunning, absolutely stunning visuals. If you have a PS5 and you're able to pick this up and you're looking for a theatrical experience where you can get involved and get in, uh, enthralled in the gameplay and the storyline, this looks amazing for you. But again, very light RPG elements. That's the only issue that I have with this game. It's not heavy on the RPG, but it's heavy on the life. And I love to see, look at that little guy. You can't, 
you can't hate him. He looks amazing. Um, <laughs> there you go. It looks like one of the things you have to do is find rots um, within the world. And um, and uh, look at this. This right here looks stunning. And you can see it's almost like an echo style move right there, uh, destroying enemies. And um, it's it looks beautiful. It looks absolutely stunning. So if you guys are interested in jumping into this game again, it is forty dollars only on PS5. And so if you have a PS5, you don't really got a lot of games to uh, you don't really have a lot of games to pick from okay so you might as well pick this one up enjoy your time in it and wait for some of those big those big old uh AAA studio games horizon zero dawn etc coming out early next year this should tie you over till then i hope you guys have a wonderful day peace actually not peace i don't know why i said peace we got more information this isn't the only rpg news on the day um we're gonna jump into some new world mmo rpg new world information let's go ahead and get right into it y'all look good y'all all right we're gonna jump over to new world that's our second topic for this nightly ninja talk video and we're gonna go into the mmo rpg side of rpgs and we're going to talk about new world i just want to go ahead and make sure you guys remember that it is coming out september 28th that's right september 28th that is next week we are getting ready for new world to release and it's going to be the next big mmo made by amazon games let's hopefully amazon just like their <laughs> their uh, services on products hopefully they can produce on this mmo um now the information once we know exactly what time it's going to be releasing whether it be midnight whether it be sometime throughout the day you can bet your bottoms dollar you're going to hear it first here on sage network i'll let you guys know right away um but other than that um, data centers have been confirmed. So data centers and the names of those data centers and areas, we're going to go over those on the next slide and those names. So you have that information readily available. I'll also put a timestamp down below in the description. If you guys just want to see the data center information so you can skip right to it. Um, but one of the big topics coming out from new world coming out is the changes to the leveling system in pvp uh, a lot of talk on reddit and youtube has been spurring concerning the pvp leveling changes within new world the game seems to be catering to individuals who can sink the most time into new world instead of skill so if you don't know the first beta that came out um i think it was the closed beta um the leveling system and how the uh, uh you know the abilities and everything worked level didn't matter as much skill mattered okay so um you know being able to dodge using the right skills against the, your opponent's skills those were all of the things that mattered most and so a lot of people loved the fact that people just can't sit there stack the best gear and win every single pvp match and fight that made world pvp a lot more interesting because you can maybe fight someone that maybe is you know five to ten levels higher than you if your skill level is at that point you know what i'm saying um and so uh people were loving that in the most recent beta that came out and released unfortunately they changed it they changed it up a little bit and the leveling system gear and level really scaled a lot more based on the difference of levels so people who were lower leveled their abilities weren't hitting as hard they weren't able to win a lot of those close pvp matches they may have been able to win before because their skill level was high up um they weren't winning those due to the skill and i mean to the ability gap that was created and so this is really talking to those casual players now a lot of us we work full time we come home we want to chill and a lot of us are very talented gamers we just don't have the time like we used to to really play these games and so the fact that they had something in there to kind of cater to people who had skill learn the systems a lot better than most just run around do whatever they want is amazing but the fact that they've changed it a lot of people aren't happy about it okay and you can see it all over reddit you can see it all over youtube the videos are coming out people are not happy and my personal opinion is that there is certain there there are certain things that you really have to balance and this is one of those because you also want to respect players time investment okay um people who do put time into your game and 
to some effect money right they pay for the game should be you no know, pay to win as long as they pay for the game etc but people who put time into your game you want to give them something to feel uh, feel good about for putting that time and effort and energy into the game whether they're good or bad at it and so within pvp um it's it's there's a lot of elitism in pvp with certain players um but it's also kind of cool that they were given some cre some some credence to skill and so they really need to learn how to balance that out um i think a five to ten level gap of skill is okay but if you're like level 10 and someone's level 25 30 you shouldn't be winning those battles there's just no reason for you to you shouldn't even be fighting those battles let alone you know winning pvp matches now five to ten levels i just want to see that scaling gap like if you're 30 and someone's 40 i want to see it be you know you, you may be able to pull it out right if you have the skills to do so now if you're 35 to 40 i really want to see that be okay like there's a five to ten level gap in between skills we'll see i will definitely be trying out pvp and letting you know how i feel about the systems um i don't know what weapons or not we're going to be trying out but definitely stay tuned we're going to be going over all new world information next week now we're going to go ahead and jump over to the data centers now the data centers are right here i'm going to go ahead and remove my camera boom there you go and so na east um, those are all of the na east servers i mean na east is represented hard and there's a lot of servers man there's a lot of servers amazon's buying up all the servers in north america and a west has a lot less servers but i think they're gonna have a smaller you know a smaller kind of uh area that they're covering australia servers are here south america servers as well as excuse me central europe servers as well and central europe is very well um, uh they got a lot going on for all four of these um and it looks like we're gonna have plenty of servers now the only issue that we're gonna have to find out is if the capacity for each server what is it and and if they're gonna be ready for how many people are actually gonna jump onto this game because a bunch of people are gonna be playing new world and playing new world pretty hard until final fantasy comes out in november so they're gonna have a good month to month and a half to really to re for stress testing on this because people are really going to be on this mmo hard so we will see if these servers are enough it, the list looks good so far and i almost feel like there's too many servers but i guess you can never have too many servers so um this is amazing and i just wanted to put that out there that information so you guys have it and you can make your decision with your with your friends and your family on where you guys are going to play next and that is it for the new world info and that is it those are the two main topics for your nightly ninja talks tonight remember i will be streaming live here on youtube tonight playing final fantasy 14 getting my prep ready for in walker trying to get my boja weapons and everything completed and done uh but please follow me on all my so and any socials if you want more information on your rpg mmo news anything that you guys want to see on the channel please down below let me know i would love any feedback on the content and i want you guys to have a wonderful beautiful amazing day and always 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 i gotta turn the, i gotta turn it on back for this one always follow your ninja way baby i'll see you guys tomorrow on the next daily ninja talk peace